Hi, my name is Joe Hicklin. I'm a senior developer at the MathWorks. In this video, I'm going to use MATLAB's code generation tools to take a deep network trained in Keras and TensorFlow and generate code to run it directly on an NVIDIA GPU. MATLAB code generation products can take a MATLAB program, including those using deep learning, and generate C, C++, or CUDA code for embedding in other applications. You can target NVIDIA GPUs or Intel CPUs, and the programs you produce will be portable, fast, and be able to run without a MATLAB present. To use code generation, we're going to need three things. We're going to need a network that we want to use, we're going to need a MATLAB program that uses that network, and then we'll use the GPU coder to generate code. You can work with networks that you've made and trained in MATLAB, or you can use networks built in other environments like TensorFlow or PyTorch. There's a standard file format called the Open Neural Network Exchange, or ONIX format, that's designed to allow deep learning tools to share networks. MATLAB reads and writes the ONIX format, so you can share a network with any tool that also supports ONIX. MATLAB also has some direct importers from some other tools, and that's what we're going to use today to import ResNet50 from a Keras TensorFlow model. Let's take a look at the network we just imported. I'm going to use the Deep Network Designer app, and I can find that in the Apps Gallery. Deep Network Designer is in the Machine Learning and Deep Learning panel, so I'll open it from there. So we've imported the model, we can take a look at it, and yes, this is what ResNet 50 is supposed to look like, so we got what we expected. Now that we've got that, let's save it in a MAT file, MATLAB's preferred storage format. Now that we have a network we like, we need to have a MATLAB program that uses that network. I've written the shortest program I can think of here, and this is it. It's a MATLAB function called ResNet Predict. It takes an image as the input and simply passes that image to ResNet for classification. The first time this function is called, it also loads the network from the disk. Now that we have a network and a program, we're ready to start code generation. Everything I'm going to show you can be done from the command line, but I'm going to use the GPU Coder app. It's in code generation. The first thing GPU Coder wants to know is the name of the program we're generating from. That's ResNet Predict. The next thing it needs to know is the type and size of the inputs we'll be using. And the easiest way to do that is to let it watch me call the function one time. So I'll type in the command and ask it to auto-define the input types. And it's worked successfully. It's identified my input as an 8-bit integer that's 224 by 224 by 3 elements wide. I can press Next, and we're ready to go to the Check for Issues stage. I'm going to tell it we're generating on a GPU and ask it to run all the code generation stages looking for all kinds of problems. Before we generate code, we have to tell the coder what kind of build we want to do. We have several choices. We can just make source code, we can produce a static library, a dynamic library, an executable. I'm going to choose to build a MATLAB executable. That's a dynamic library that links straight back into MATLAB so we can play with it in a minute. All right? I'll choose that, press Generate. So code generation is finished, and down here it tells us that MEX built successfully. Good. Uh, here's the code that it generated. This is the C++ implementation of the M file that I wrote. Over here, these files with a CU extension are the CUDA implementations of the various layers in your network. And down here is some C++ and some header files that glues the rest of the system together. And these are the files you'll use to embed into your application. Press Next one more time, and it's finished successfully. I'm going to call the original M file. We'll time that and see how long it takes. First time, it took almost three seconds. But remember, the first time, it's loading the network off the disk, so the, the next time should be quicker. I'll run it a few more times, and there we go. It's averaging about 35 thousandths of a second. And that's about what we would expect. Now let's run the MEX file we just generated. Again, that took about a second to load the network off the disk. Let's try it again several times. And that's taking about seven thousandths of a second to do that. And that's about five times faster than what we saw. And that's not an unusual ratio. Like I said before, everything I did in the GPU Coder app can be done in the command line. 
Once you've used the GPU Coder app once, you can ask it to produce a script that reproduces all these steps. I'll do that here with the uh, Coder to Code command. To learn how you can use MATLAB for deep learning from development to deployment, take a look at our website to the links below. If you have questions on deep learning, you can ask an expert here.